we have to actually yeah, yeah, exactly. so not. It's so hard, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you uh, grab yeah, towards the you. end here. You grab that tail. It's gonna slip. Like I said, these are gonna now pull through. Right, right kind of. Oh, I got it. It pulls up. There you go. Cut. All right, so push yeah. this. All right, and there's your shirt. Right, so now, I don't know if this is like a thing or not, but we wanted to um, do it so he could like pick which strings he could like detach and stuff like that, so he could like move certain fingers when he moves his wrist, and yeah, and we wanted it to be like um, like stable, like like they said, like a locking thing where he could like play basketball and like hit it the, his hand on the ball without it like being like flimsy and stuff. So like a way. So you can almost, like, do you have another kind of idea in your head of how you do this switching? Or just the concept right now? Yeah, just the concept. So, like, <laughs> like, Still like, working on like, dial where it's like, yeah. you switch one dial, you, you have different strings of and then you switch another and like all the strings are super tight or something like that? Yeah, okay. a dial. Okay. The first place that humans are going to step on Mars. I think, that, I think that's very exciting. Um, there was a workshop in uh, 2015 and they received about 50 proposals from people all over the world. And uh, there's one guy there who was 15 who proposed and actually got up and spoke in front of this uh, international audience to propose a landing site. Uh, each landing site was uh, asked to define uh, not only where the uh, vehicle would land, but also the science uh, regions of interest and resource regions of interest uh, that we would be able to get to if we landed there. So uh, science includes uh, astrobiology and uh, geology, astrogeology, and um, they need to, you need to think about planetary protection both ways, right? We don't want to contaminate the planet. We actually don't want to contaminate Earth when people come back. Here's a video that shows you uh, an example of construction equipment that's being developed at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It's slightly confusing, right? Thank you.